I like to make pockets, especially patch pockets. They're easy, and there's some unique details that make all the difference between just another pocket and a pocket you can be proud of. Have you ever seen a pocket like this? At first glance, it looks like it's a neatly made pocket. But how will it look after it's been worn and washed many times? Let's examine it. What about these raw edges, just inside the top of the pocket? They don't need to be there, of course. This pocket was stitched and then backstitched to tack. But don't most pockets need reinforcement at this point to keep them from ripping out? This backstitching has only put all the strain along one thread. Edges that peep out at the lower part of the pocket are unsightly. It's easy enough to criticize. Now, what can we do about it? I'm going to put on two types of patch pockets for you so that I can cover most of the problems that might come up for you. The first one will be a simple patch pocket with a hem top and rounding bottom. And before you remove the pattern from the patch pocket, be sure to check that the fold line has been transferred to the pocket. And the first step is to fold under a fourth of an inch at the top of the pocket and press it. Then machine stitch that fold down. You would use matching thread, but I'm using black so that you'll be able to follow my stitching lines. Then fold the top of the pocket back to the right side right along that fold line and pin it. I'm going to stitch right on the seam line so the edge of the pocket will be up against the guide. Start by back stitching. When you get to the bottom of the hem, continue on around. This row of stitching will help give you a smooth curve at the bottom of your pocket. When you get back up to the hem, stitch right on over it and then back stitch at the end. Now we're ready to trim and press. If we turn the hem without trimming off these seams, you would have bulky corners that would be unsightly. It would be slow drying and hard to iron. So we start by Cutting the corners off diagonally and then trimming off the seam here in the hem 
to about in about an eighth of an inch. Then trim the rest of the seam off so it's just about half its original width. Remove a little more bulk by cutting out wedges around the curve. Now we're ready to turn the hem to the wrong side. We we'll want good square corners and you can use your scissors if you'll use them gently and lift those corners out. Now we're ready to press that flat. We'll want to press the rest of these edges back and as you do, pull the stitching slightly to the top side so that when you're finished it will show all the way around. We're ready to put the pocket onto the dress. The place for the pocket is marked with carbon on the wrong side. And since I want the marking on the right side, I'll transfer it through with basting. Basting is one of the most accurate ways to mark the place for your pocket. However, if you're very careful, you could transfer this through with pins. And now we'll pin our pocket in place. And before I put that pocket on, I'd like to show you just how I'm going to stitch it. I'll start stitching here and stitch up a few stitches, then across this important angle, turn the pocket around and stitch all the way around the pocket. Back up to the top, across this angle, and down. In order to get both angles exactly alike, count the stitches. And then sew the rest of the way around the pocket. You might be interested to know that tests have proven that this diagonal stitching at the top of the pocket is the most durable since it crosses both the lengthwise and crosswise threads.
contra stitches across the angle. And these threads should be pulled through to the wrong side. And tie. Since the raw edges were turned up into the hem, no raw edges can possibly show at the top of your pocket. This finishes the pocket with a rounded bottom and hem top. And now let's take a quick look at a pocket with square corners and a flap. Square corners are easy to make if you fold and trim them properly. Let me use a paper to show you the method I use. Here is a side fold and here is the bottom fold, which have been pressed in on your fabric. Lay a triangle across the corner so that the fold lines are right back on themselves. Trim that corner off about an eighth of an inch beyond the fold line. Then you'll have a smooth corner. The flap is made like an elongated hem. And in stitching it on, use the same angular stitching at the top corners up under the flap. You'll notice that the pockets were the first step on the skirt unit, and next time we'll complete the skirt.